Hey, how y'all doing? This cooking with Dave. I'm Dave. I am the world's greatest chef. I know that I have a so right here on my apron. Today I'm cooking potato salad and some deviled egg. Oh, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna show you how we put it together. Okay, first thing we're gonna do when you have potato salads, peel yourself some potatoes, and then you need to cube them up in little square cubes. Now, important thing about potato salad, a lot of people don't know, is it's important that when you cut up all your little cubes of potatoes, it's important to try to make sure that they're all pretty close to the same size. If you have different sized potato, then it's going to cook unevenly, and then some of them aren't going to get done, or some of them will get too done. And if you get your potato too done, then you'll end up with mashed potato with egg. And we're not trying to cook mashed potato with egg, we are trying to cook potato salad. And I will show you how I put this together and why my potato salad, I think, is the best potato salad in the world. I'm going to show you how to make the best, uh, you're going to believe it, the best potato salad in the world that you ever had right here today. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish keeping up my potatoes. I'm using about eight potatoes, and I'm going to put them in my boiling water. I'm going to show you what we do with them in the boiling water. Okay, I have some boiling water. Add a little salt to it. Now I'm going to add my potatoes to it. And we don't want to cook our potatoes too much. We want them to hold that cubed up form. So we don't want to overcook them. And one way you overcook a potato is by cooking too many at one time. We don't want to cook more than what is about a layer at a time. Because if you put too much potatoes in your pot, you're going to cook them unevenly. And you don't want to cook them unevenly. Okay, return your uh, potatoes to a boil. Just let them boil and just keep checking them and make sure you know they're not going to overcook. As soon as that thing's done, as soon as it's soft, no more crunches in it, you're going to take them out. Last one. Let's check a big one. Right, let's check it again. Yeah, see now we're right there at it. So, I'll go ahead and just take these out. And I'm going to put them in this bowl. And I'm going to put this bowl in the refrigerator and let these things cool off. Another trick to potato salad, a lot of people don't know, you don't want to end up with mashed potato with egg, is to take your potatoes after you cook them and put them straight into the refrigerator and let them cool. I mean, let them cool. Let them get refrigerator cold. Because you don't want to serve any hot potato salad anyway. Go ahead and let them get refrigerator cold before you start stirring them up. If you stir them up hot like this, then you're going to end up with mashed potato in it with egg. Alright, while our potatoes are in the refrigerator cooling off, I boiled some eggs and now I'm going to shell my eggs. I'm going to show you my trick for shelling eggs. Is as soon as you boil them, put, some, put them on some cold water. Let them sit and let them cool off. After they cool off, just grab them and you start squeezing them like so. Okay, so I shelled my eggs. Now I'm going to take my eggs and I'm going to cut them in half. And I'm going to take out the yellow, put it in a bowl over there, making deviled eggs. Got to like a deviled egg. What's wrong with a deviled egg? There's nothing wrong with a deviled egg. They're wonderful. They're just good. Now, you might ask yourself, say, Dave, did I switch videos? Because I thought you was making potato salad. Well, I am. Um, just I use the deviled egg recipe when I make potato salad. So I figured, why not go ahead and make me a couple of deviled eggs? Because, you know, if you think about it, potato salad is really just deviled eggs mixed up inside potatoes because you use all the same ingredients you use uh, salt and pepper of course you use uh, eggs uh, usually you boil the eggs and you just cut them up and put them in there I don't like that because then you end up with just some boiled egg and I ain't about eating just some boiled egg I can you know I mean I like them I put a little salt and pepper on them eat them but you know what I'm saying but if you think about it mayonnaise mustard salt and pepper a little onion and some egg that's what you put inside your potato salad so I said why not go ahead and mix it up first just like you were making a 
Oh, I lost most of the outside on that one. Just like you're making a deviled egg, only put it into potatoes instead of into the eggs. You will see what I mean here in a minute. All right, now our uh, deviled egg mixture is pretty much to taste. You take yourself a couple scoops of mayonnaise and put it on there. And then you take whatever you think you need mustard wise and you can always add more just a dash of mustard and then just a little bit dash of pickle juice maybe a little more pickle juice and then some pepper whatever you like pepper to taste some salt salt to taste and then just mix that bad boy up mash out all these egg yolks with your fork and let's stir all this up Okay, had to get my fried chicken going. Y'all can hear that in the background. I might have some fried chicken, some collard greens, and some potato salad. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. All right, I have all my yellows all mixed up with some mayonnaise and with some mustard, a little pickle juice, salt and pepper. Now I'm going to take one of my egg whites that I saved over, and I'm going to make me a deviled egg. Just stick it right there in the middle of that. Ba-bam. Does that look good? I'm going to put just a little sprinkle of paprika on it. And call it double egg. Let's try that. Mmm. Well, that's wonderful. Oh man. That's some kind of good. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe I should just make some double egg. Man. Okay, now here is our potato salad filling. That's what we're gonna put in our potatoes. Now when they have cooled off enough, I will get them out in the refrigerator and we'll put this together and show you how it works. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator also because I want it to be the same temperature as my potatoes when I put them together. Okay, I took my potatoes out of the refrigerator and I mean I left them in the refrigerator for about two hours. I let them get cold. I'm talking about refrigerator cold uh, before I mix these up because if you do this when these things are hot, they're going to fall apart on you and uh, you're going to end up with mashed potatoes. We don't want mashed potatoes. We want potato salad. So now we take our deviled egg mixture. Also, I put it in the refrigerator and it's also cold. And we put it right on top of our potatoes. You're supposed to serve potato salad cold. Potato salad is a cold dish. I'll probably let this sit out for about 15 minutes on the counter and become room temperature. And it will be wonderful. I put my deviled egg mixture in there and I'm using a big spoon. You see this big spoon? Use a big spoon to do this because you don't want to bust up these potatoes a whole lot. Now I'm going to take some egg whites that I had left over. I chopped up. Y'all remember I chopped up the egg whites. Put them in there. I'm going to put about a quarter real finely chopped up onion. Chop it up as fine as you can get it. Put it in there and then I'm going to mix this bad boy up. Now I'll salt and pepper it to taste and Maybe throw a little paprika up in it just so it tastes a little bit like more like the deviled egg. Not a whole lot of paprika, just a little bit. And that there, my friends, is what we call potato salad Dave style. We're going to have potato salad Dave style. Oh man, this stuff is wonderful. Doesn't that look good? All right, today we cook potato salads and deviled eggs. It's wonderful. Uh, we're going to have the fried chicken, some collard greens, potato salad. Man, it's going to be good. Remember, I'm the world's greatest chef. Says so right here on my Y'all have a great day. Thanks.